You know, I don't say it enough, but Lucio here is one of my favorite Polynesian. I don't really know why. Maybe it's the orange and red, that sort of a warmer theme really makes me happy. And the fact that he comes with some aquatic themed accessories is also pretty fun too. Give me that chicken! I've also kind of just adapted a sort of personality to him, and he's just sort of grown on me. So over time, I've really been upset with the fact that his finish is a lot different than some of the other Polynesians. That'll be relevant though, because today we're going to be looking at Polynesian number 18, Lucio, or Rucio, girl's bikini version. This one is obviously a bit more referential to the remake of Lucio with the color variant, though the hair is an entirely different color altogether. Still, he's got the same eyes and the same overall theming. Previously, we got the shamrock in a girl's bikini, and while it was cute, it didn't really come with much. But looking into today's figure, you may already know that this comes with quite a bit more, and thus I think that the value here is going to be a lot better. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself because I know something that comes with this is going to make this a really good release for me. It's cute that we're getting another Polynesian in a girl's bikini. I'm not quite that keen on those, but ultimately there's going to be some great value here if you're a collector like me and you're going to get them all anyway. So let's stop talking about that and get this thing open so we can find out what exactly it is it comes with. For being a release of Lucio, it's funny how much in the box is not dedicated to the actual release. There's more about Shamrock and Alvin in here than anything, but here's the blister. And I've already got to say I do like this new hair color, but we have a double blister as well. So let's put that out of the way for now. And here is our boy fresh out of the box. And man, I think this looks spectacular. Obviously, I'm a big simp for these things either way, but something about the colors and how fine this one is done it's really getting me. And that face is just so hard to deny. Look at how sweet that looks. The eyes look perfect, as well as that blush is a great new addition to this faceplate. That boyish smile is really cute too. And I'm really liking the hair color. It's really well painted as well. Like normally inside of the spikes of his hair, there's some issues, but this looks pretty much perfect. I've also got to say something about the way the bikini looks is really satisfying as well. Those yellows and greens look really striking. His skin tone is nearly perfect too. I don't see any blemishes in the skin. This looks awesome, and I am already incredibly happy with this release. If I put them side by side, you can see just how different it is. The original Lucio looks like it was painted a very nasty flat white. It almost looks like white out to me. Like it looks so cheap. But something about this one is just more faded and it's even got sort of a pinkish hue to it, which feels much more, I don't know, android flesh, I guess? If that makes sense. Does that make sense? This is just another stellar release from Die Body so far. The production quality is increasing, and I would say by quite a bit. Yeah, in all honesty, the more I'm looking at this thing, I've gone over it with a very fine tooth comb, and I'm happy to say that I have no production problems to report here. This is perfect. So that means sculpting and painting is great. And we're gonna move on to articulation, which I'm sure will also be good because like the many other Polynesian, he has hinged peg joints, which will allow his head to go up and down, swivel at either side thanks to the peg. His shoulder will go in and out, as well as rotate at either side as well. The elbow will similarly go up and down and swivel at either side as well. Finally, the wrist is very similar in the way that it will go up and down and spin around where it needs to. At the waist, there is a peg hinge right here inside of the clothing, which goes up and down and twists side to side. Look at him dance. Yeah! The bulge is pretty damn nice, and the booty is pretty clean too. Actually, that's pretty damn good butt. Regardless, his leg goes in and out, and it swivels. The knee goes in and out and it swivels. And the foot, very cute by the way, goes up and down and swivels. Overall, great articulation, nothing feels loose, nothing is too tight, and this thing is a joy to handle. Speaking of joy to handle, hee haw! Just look at this out of the box, that's just, ah, uh, it's perfect. Hey bro, thanks for getting me. Now let's have some fun! Whoa! But of course, Polyne and Shine in the accessory game as well. So let's go ahead and take Rusio and remove his hair 
so that we can then remove his faceplate. The hair was a bit hard to remove, but it's okay because now that we have it off, we can swap his happy blushing face for this new one. And now his smile is with closed eyes and teeth showing and still some blush on those cheeks, which is absolutely precious. This is a great faceplate. Not much more to be said. So let's pop on the third one. And just like with Shamkini, the third faceplate is going to be a very embarrassed faceplate with a squiggly open mouth, blushing cheeks, and wide eyes. I actually love this. This was one of my favorite things about the Shamrock with the bikini. He came with this goofy, embarrassed face, and I love it. And this one is perfect as well. It's great to be able to see his eyes. And I've noticed that with these faceplates, he has a kind of dark orange eyebrows which should work fine with his previous model's hair if you were to swap them on. Because the original one, if you can see here, has a dark orange hair for his eyebrows as well. So I don't think it would be too much of a problem. It also took me a second to realize, but his other faceplate is the same as his original smiling face as well. So that's nice that they gave us a newly updated skin tone version with the same face. Now, interestingly enough, the final faceplate isn't actually for Ruscio, but instead is for Alvin. And of course, Alvin is one of my favorite Polynians, so swapping his head onto the bikini body is not so hard, and it actually works really well with this faceplate because he's similarly embarrassed. And this isn't even the first time we received an additional faceplate for Alvin, so I'm pretty happy about that. The more we get for Alvin, the better, because I love him, so this is even better. But not only do they have great faceplates that you can swap out, they also have swappable hands. And by default, this boy is wearing a pair of bald fists with his thumb at the top of his index. Alternatively, you can take those off and swap them for some other parts. Though interestingly, with this one, you only get an additional two sets of hands. On the left side, we can see him holding his hand open with his fingers slightly spread. This is a great hand for plenty of different poses, and it's a pretty standard one that I think should come with any Polynesian. On the right side, he comes with a locked wrist accessory fist, meaning it is a bald fist that instead of being normal and solid, it has a hole in it so that you can attach an accessory to his hand. It almost seems as if this one was made with the assumption that you have other Polynesians already, because some of the accessories are obviously for other figures, while he doesn't come with many hands, whereas some of the others come with quite a few pairs. So keep that in mind if you were going to buy this. But he does come with a holdable accessory as well. This little piece here is known as the Energy Spray Gun. It's known to be a particularly weak one, but can fire at a rapid rate and fire pretty widely just because of the fact that it's a tiny little spray gun. So spray and pray, I suppose. It's evidently commonly used for practice, as the box says. The box actually has some insight as to why they're wearing bikinis. It very specifically says these are girls' bikinis, but evidently there was some issue with them being on holiday, but then having to be rushed out to some sort of incident where they were needing support. And thus Alvin, Emil, Lucio, and Shamrock all went out together, but somebody screwed up what to bring for gear and they only had girls' bikinis to wear. It even has quotes where Lucio was like, ugh, this, isn't right. And Alvin was pretty mad too, yet Shamrock was just like, wow, <laughs> which is pretty funny when you think of his character. But this isn't even it, because as well as this bikini, he comes with one other thing that really made this for me. So inside of the separate blister, he comes with an additional chest piece, which is great because this mimics the original Lucio chest piece, which has the orange vest and the little tag in front, which I really, really like. And if you compare this to the old one, the paints are much different. The orange is a bit deeper. Everything just looks a little bit cleaner and nicer, as well as the skin tone now matches the newer sort of pinkish hue instead of this nasty white painted one, which looks so much better. But to match the bottom as well, we have this sort of blue trunks matching bottom piece with the right skin tone and all the original pouches and everything and bulge that the original Lucio would have come with. So this is just perfect for me. Think about freaky Mitch. And with these updated colors, they have breathed new life into Lucio here. 
He was always one of my favorites, but now even more so because he's been perfected. Even with the old hair and the old weapons, with these new updates to his skin, as well as the outfit, he looks so much better, just so much more crisp and rich. We're basically getting two figures for the price of one, which is why I bought two of these and will be using one set to basically update Lucio's colors. You might call it a nitpick, but when you put them side by side, I think that they look so starkly different. That white on the old one is just so nasty looking. It's almost amazing to me that they ever released it in the state. And even still, I loved it all the same. It's a shame because I even used Lucio in my Polynesian skits, and now he's going to look so much better, so look forward to those. There's two last accessories to show you, but it's kind of hard to show you the one. So first, let me just show you that, of course, he comes with a blue hexagonal base, which is great. These are always wonderful, but I'm not going to rag on and on about them. But what he comes with, which I thought was a peculiar choice, was the original hair clip. It's hard to see. My camera doesn't want to focus on it, but there we go. This is actually just a little star-shaped hair clip that very awkwardly goes into the female version of Lucio's hair which I thought was strange because they didn't give you an additional head to give you Lucy's hair. They just gave you Lucio. So now we have Lucio's hair color like this, but we don't have Lucy's. Kind of strange. And just to confirm, her hair color was indeed different than this one. So I don't really get the exclusion, but hopefully they'll pack it in with another release. I don't know. It's nice they just have another one of these hair clips because they're incredibly finicky and they fall off really easily. If you take a look here at the bottom of the pink, there is a line right there, and then the seam also that goes into this side of the bang vertically. There's a dig in this that would potentially fit in there, but I seem to never be able to get it to attach, so I just use a piece of tape. So now that we've looked over everything, there's quite a bit to consider here, even though this wasn't the biggest release. I primarily wanted this for the fact that it came with the alternate outfit for the original Lucio. So my primary desires for this figure were completely overridden when I saw that it came with that. I'll say the original intention of this figure, which is of course the bikini, is really cute. The colors are really satisfying and everything is painted incredibly well. The accessory game is a bit weaker, but it's made up for in the fact that of course they include the alternate body. The faceplates are another really great point. I really enjoy the faceplates on this, and having an additional one for Alvin wasn't necessary, but is appreciated all the same. This opens up so much opportunity for them going forward. With whatever they are releasing in the future, I think it is incredibly possible for them to flesh out even further by adding accessories in for other models with these new ones. Lily's the next completely original one coming out. But there's also some recolors of the old school models that I think they could easily pack some accessories in. Then after that we have Mega Girl and even more fun with this thick new Polynian they revealed recently. So I've got to say, Polynian is on their way even higher in my heart. I put them on such a pedestal because they have gone up and down, but they are now seemingly really going forward with great ambition to improve the brand. It's always wonderful to see this happen when your favorite figure line starts to get better instead of worse, especially since so many other companies aren't even releasing figures right now because of the pandemic. So with everything considered, I'm going to give this Lucio a 10 out of 10. It's not simply just for the fact that the bikini is cute and all that, because like I said, that was secondary to me, but this release itself is a 10 out of 10. It comes with so much. There's nothing wrong with the figure that you are intending to buy by buying the bikini version, but for me, there was just so much more to utilize with the rest of the package here. Now, like I said, there's no reason they wouldn't be able to go back and release some accessories for previous models that would fix them by putting it in with some of the recolors that are coming up. So, you know, die body, go ahead and do that. That'd be awesome. But what do you guys think? Am I crazy? Did I like this figure too much? Probably. Did you get it? Are you going to get it? Tell me below in the comments, and of course, like the video if you did like it. I have tons of other figure reviews and plenty of other content on my channel, so why don't you watch a video? I'll put something on screen for you. Additionally, if you shop at HLJ and buy any figures, I get a small commission and you pay no extra, so if you want to help the channel, do that. But that's enough from me. Thank you so much for watching, have an amazing day, and keep on collecting.